It's all about balance. So you're balancing the mind, the body, and the spirit. And including in that is the yin, the yang, the chi, and the blood. Balance. It's often a term loosely thrown around. But when your body's controls are taken over by another baby being, pinpointing the exact significance of this word is paramount. Because to be unbalanced during pregnancy means morning sickness poking at you morning, noon, and night. So how are you feeling today? Um, a little bit nauseous. Okay. <laughs> yeah, still. Okay. Um, but better, uh, better than I have been the last couple of weeks for sure. Growing up in a household with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, I witnessed at an early age how Western medicine failed my family. So alternative healing practices like Chinese medicine have helped me through many life stages like pregnancy. And here we're checking for the three positions. Dr. Michelle Kaminsky takes my pulse. The pulse relates to the 12 organs in the body. There's three different positions in either wrist, and you check for different depths, and um, what the rate, the consistency. Does the pulse feel slippery? Does it feel equal and even? I'm gonna get you to stick out your tongue. Okay. The registered doctor of traditional Chinese medicine has drawn on the 5,000-year-old practice to work with patients suffering everything from allergies and heart disease to depression and cancer. The now decade-long practitioner first began her studies in Western medicine at an Ontario university, but then changed direction on moving to the West Coast, where she enrolled in the Canadian College of Traditional Chinese Medicine and later established her business, Healing Hands, here in Whistler. I still had to learn a lot of the Western medicine background and information, but Eastern medicine is just, it's more specific. You have more specific treatments rather than let's just give you a tablet for the common cold. There's all different types of common colds and wind heat, wind colds, damp, phlegm. So it's, it's more specific. And I'm just going to get you to bring your hand down like that. No two colds are the same, just as no two pregnancies are the same. Chinese herbs are used for treatments. However, they are generally not recommended during pregnancy. Instead, Michelle administers acupuncture. Nice big breath out. Good. One of the points that's really beneficial would be pericardium 6. It helps to harmonize not only the stomach, but also the heart. So there's a direct relationship between the heart and the uterus, the kidney and the uterus, and promoting qi and blood flowing into that area. Diet is also addressed. In Chinese medicine, each month of pregnancy relates to different organs, so recommended foods can change. Progesterone-forming foods are ideal in the first three months. Foods that are beneficial for regulating the progesterone levels would be cauliflower, asparagus, bell peppers, lentils, um, as well beef, chicken, turkey. Things that are really rich in B6, even whole grains can help. Body addressed, Michelle moves to my mind. And the affirmation is, I have faith and confidence in my future. I have faith and confidence in my future. The affirmations work by basically balancing the organ systems. So you have the left brain and the right brain. So some of the organs pertain to one side or the other. And this basically harmonizes the energetics of your body. And it, and it really can produce profound changes changes that may not be seen at first, but can definitely, and more importantly, be felt, as specifically as the approach taken to administering them. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.